Welcome everybody. Get started in a moment. I'm just gonna share my screen really quickly. So if you choose to exercise on any platform with Boston College and its affiliates, you do so at your own risk and acknowledge there is an innate risk of injury when participating in any physical activity. Participation is voluntary and practice in a safe space suitable for this activity. Some practices may not be safe under certain medical conditions. You agree to consult a doctor if you have any medical concerns. If you experience any physical or emotional pain or discomfort, you will listen to your body, adjust the practice, and ask for support from a medical provider. You hereby agree to irrevocably release and waive any claims that you have now or hereafter may have against Boston College and its affiliates. You have read or listened to this disclaimer and have acknowledged it prior to participating in any activity. All right, so for abs and core today, you are going to need a mat, a sweat towel, and some water. That is literally all the equipment you need for class today. 45 minutes, movements that will incorporate our upper body and lower body, but are intended to really work the core, both the front and the back. Um, you'll wanna pull up that playlist, that's for class today. We'll get started with a warm up. Um, let's pull up the playlist to start, and then we will get into this. <clears throat> The playlist is dated of course I can't find it <laughs> oh yeah yay okay hi big okay we'll just play it from There we go, found the playlist. Awesome. Okay, let's get started. All right, so your warm up song is Fallen by Why Don't We? You're going to come down to the mat to start class with a warm up. Okay, so let's take it down to the mat. You want your feet flat, your knees bent, you're rolling down the mat. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your stomach, and I want you to press the entire length of your spine down into the mat. So that means your tailbone up through your low back, mid back, through the shoulder blades. Press everything downward. Draw the navel into the spine. I want you to set your abs, tight core. Take a deep breath in, feel your belly rise, but feel the mat, uh, the low back maintain contact with the mat. And now exhale, arms by your sides. Roll up through the head, neck, and shoulders and start to pulse your arms. So we're gonna warm up the core with the Pilates 100 here. You're keeping that tight core, drawing the navel to the spine, but you need to breathe. So pulse those arms to the beat of the music. Set the gaze between the knees and lift up high in the shoulder blades. You've got a natural C curve in your spine here. And if you wanna level this up, you can make it a little bit harder by taking your legs to table. You can make it even harder by taking the legs to the ceiling. And you can find that highest level of challenge with your legs out on an angle. We'll lift up through the shoulder blades one inch higher. And we inhale two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four. Inhale and exhale. Four more rounds. Exhale, three to go. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale one more time. Inhale, exhale. Hands behind the head, 10 crunches. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull the knees in. Roll out on the low back. We're going to take two more rounds of that to warm up through the core. Let's start by planting the feet, knees to the ceiling. Draw the navel down, low back has contact with the mat, arms by your sides, roll up the head, neck, and shoulders, and start to pulse it out. Pulse, pulse, pulse. All right, can you get up any higher in the shoulder blades? All right, remember your levels. You can keep the feet flat. You can take the legs to table with the knees above hips. You can extend the legs to the ceiling with pointed toes or you can take the legs away from you on an angle. We're into the last minute of this song, so pulse, pulse, pulse. Feeling that warmth 
Generate through the core. Breathe, breathe. All right, find the four count. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two to go. Inhale. Exhale one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hands behind the head. Ten crunches. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees in. Roll out on the low back. Woo. Let's grab behind the hamstrings, rock ourselves up, grab some water, and we're gonna get into the working portion of class. So you should feel that warmth through the core. So we've got a few different series for our class today. We're gonna start out with a cardio plank series. Get your heart rate up, get you a little bit sweaty, um, and work that core in addition to upper and lower body. I'm gonna show you our three moves before we start. Our time interval structure is 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we're gonna do this for three rounds. Here's what this looks like. Your first move, we're gonna find a high plank, hands under shoulders. We're gonna take eight cross body climbers to a half burpee. So pull the shoulder blade down the back, let us low. Goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cross body climbers. Feet in, hands up, hands down, feet out. Eight cross body climbers, getting your knee towards your opposite elbow. Feet in, hands up, hands down, feet back. That's your first move. Your second move, we're gonna come down to an elbow plank. Finding a low plank with your elbows under your shoulders. We're gonna take one, two plank jacks, right knee taps, left knee taps. One, two plank jacks, right knee taps, left knee taps. If you wanna take out any impact, step the right foot, step the left foot, tap the right knee, tap the left knee. And then your third movement, I'm gonna show this one laterally down the mat. Two traveling bear planks, two shoulder taps. A bear plank. We're in all fours, curling the toes, knees are hovering. This is your bear plank. We're gonna move laterally down the mat. I'm gonna travel once, travel twice, tap, tap. Travel once, travel twice, tap, tap. Our two shoulder taps. All right, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, three rounds. We're gonna start eight mountain climbers and one half burpee. Fast or slow cross body climb. You start in five. Hands under shoulders. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feet in, hands up, hands down, feet out. All right, so you can take this fast or slow. Whatever you do, eyes are forward, butt is low. On that half burpee, you can jump your feet in or walk your feet in. Jump your feet back or walk your feet back. You got five seconds and then we rest. Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds rest. We're gonna set up elbow plank. I'm gonna fold my mat over. Two plank jacks, two knee taps. Three, two, one, let's go. So it's one, two plank jacks, right knee, left knee tap. One, two plank jacks, right knee tap, left knee tap. Eyes forward. We wanna keep a long neck throughout. And the way we do that is by not dropping our head. So reach the crown of the head forward, keep the eyes forward. All right, we got five seconds here, team. Stay with me. Three, two, one, rest. I'm gonna unflip that mat. Two traveling bear planks, two shoulder taps. Three, two, one, let's go. So it's one, two traveling bear planks, two, Shoulder taps. One, two traveling bear planks, and two shoulder taps. So our goal is to keep our knees hovering close to the floor, but you got 90 degrees at the knees. You're on the tips of your toes, and you're crawling side to side. Eyes forward. You got five, three, two, one, rest. All right, we got round two coming up. Eight mountain climbers, one half burpee. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feet in, hands up, hands down, feet out. You wanna find a low squat 
for that half burpee. When the hands come up, the butt stays low, the knees go wide. Do your best on your cross body climbers. Really get that knee to touch the opposite elbow. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. If you want, fold that mat over. Elbow plank, two plank jacks, two knee tucks. Three, two, one, let's go. So two plank jacks with your feet popping out together to two knee taps. Or single leg right, single leg left, tap the right knee, tap the left knee. All right, we're doing our best here to pull the shoulder blades down our back. If you feel your shoulders crunching up towards your ears, you're fatiguing, but you gotta fight against it. Three, two, one, rest. I'm gonna uncurl that mat, setting up two traveling bear planks, two shoulder taps, laterally down the mat. Three, two, one, knees hover. So it's one, two, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. One, two, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. So we're doing our best here to keep the hands planted underneath the shoulders when we go to those shoulder taps. 10 seconds. We got one more round to go after this. Five, three, two, one, rest. Set up for your last round. High plank on the hands, eight cross body, one half burpee. We go in five, three, two, one, let's go. Eight cross body, feet in, hands up, hands down, feet out. All right, team. Come on, give me 15 more seconds with this move. Run those knees. We got five, three, two, one, rest. Fold your mat over. Low plank elbows, two jacks, two knee taps. Three, two, one, let's go. All right. So as you pop out the feet, we're keeping the butt low. We've got to really draw the navel to the spine, keep a tight core to stabilize the hips so the butt doesn't pop up and down too much. 10 seconds. Breathing through the hard parts here, especially as your heart rate comes up. Three, two, one, rest. Uncurl that mat. One more time. Two traveling bear planks, two shoulder taps. Three. Two, one, hit it. Travel twice, tap, tap. Travel twice, tap, tap. All right, you're probably feeling your shoulders and your quads in this bear plank. So with those bent legs, we start to load up the front of our quads. You got 10 seconds. Knees are hovering close to the floor. Three. Two, one, rest. You did it. First circuit down, grab yourself some water. Nice job. All right. We're setting up. We got a pyramid. 15 minutes of core work. I'm gonna show you our five moves that we're gonna build up to in this pyramid. I would recommend, if you're on a hard surface, holding your mat over to give yourself some more cushion. What our five moves look like before we get into the pyramid? Your first movement will have 30 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. And the first move looks, sorry, 30 work, 15 rest. The first move looks like this. Feet flat, knees bent, you come down to the mat. Clasp the hands together, it's a triple point crunch. Between the knees, Left, between the knees, right. I'm doing my best to get my shoulder blades high off the mat every time I pull my knuckles forward. That's your three-point crunch, move number one. Move number two, I'm gonna show this from the front. 
we have an alternating oblique V up. And we're gonna pulse it three times to one side. My legs are straight. My arm comes to the side like a kickstand. I rock onto one side of my butt. I reach three, two, one. I bring those legs down, come to the other side. Three, two, one. Come center, reach other side. If at any point you feel like that's too much for you, you're gonna just lift the top leg. Three, two, one. Come to the other side, just the top leg. Three, two, one. Both legs together or one at a time. Your third move is a straight leg sit up with a cross body tap. Legs are straight, feet are flexed, hands are at the chest. It's a full sit up, right hand to left ankle, roll down. Full sit up, left hand to right ankle, and down. So you're crossing over your body to tap the opposite ankle in the sit up. Your fourth movement is a butterfly crunch. Feet together, knees wide. You come down, hands behind the head. It's 30 seconds of taking a crunch, getting the shoulder blades lifted, but your knees are wide, and you got a light touch behind the ears, not pulling on the neck. And then your final move, your fifth move, is a banana split. So we start in a tight ball, curl everything up. You banana out, arms and legs long, bring it in, and then split to an X, bring it in. So it's a banana, and then a split. That's your banana split. Coming to a ball in between. We're gonna hit that pyramid. It is 15 minutes. So this is the bulk of our conditioning right here. We're gonna start with that triple point crunch. 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Sorry, 20 seconds rest. I'm giving you more rest than I thought, which you're gonna need. Um, 20 seconds rest in between levels. Right now, triple point crunch. Feet flat, knees bent. Three, two, one, let's go. So, crunching, center left, center right. 30 seconds with this move. Reach, reach, reach those knuckles towards the knees. How high can you get your upper body lifted? All right, you are halfway. 20 seconds of rest coming up. Find a pace that is sustainable here. You got five, three, two, one, rest. All right, we're gonna do that same move again, and then we're gonna add on we're gonna add on those oblique V-ups with the triple pulse. Three, two, one, and go the other side. Let's set up for your three-point crunch, feet flat, knees bent. We go in three, two, one, begin. So 30 seconds here. We are working your upper abs real hard in this move. If at any point you're feeling neck strain, hands are gonna come behind the head, and you're still going to mimic this three-point crunch, but assisting your head. So you can put those hands behind the temples if you're feeling strain in the neck. In seven seconds, we switch it up. Alternating oblique V up, triple pulse. Three, two, one. So one arm to the side, rock to your butt cheek. Goes three, two, one. Center, go the other way. Three, two, one. Come center, go the other way. All right, trying to keep our legs glued together, toes pointed. And as you rock onto one side of your butt, we're gonna be working the abs that are closer to the ceiling. Five seconds, rest is coming. Three, two, one, rest. We're about to add on our third move. It's that straight leg sit up, hands at your chest, sit up and reach for the opposite ankle. But we still start with move number one, the three point crunch. Feet flat, knees bent, hands together. Three, two, one, let's go. Crunch center, crunch left, crunch center, crunch right. You can slow this down or speed it up. If you speed it up, you're gonna jam more reps into 30 seconds, but you want them to be quality reps. Get the shoulder blades off the mat. This is not about swinging your arms around. It's about lifting through the upper body. We got that oblique V up, triple pulse coming up. Three, two, one, switch it up. Kickstand that arm, legs lift. Three, two, one, swing through center, go to the other side. Three, two, one. Remember your option, dropping the bottom leg and reaching just for the top ankle. So that's one way to modify this. 
but still hit the obliques. If you're feeling any strain in the low back, I want you to take that modification. On deck, straight leg sit-ups. Three, two, one, set up. Legs straight, feet flexed, hands at the chest. It's a sit-up, right hand to left ankle. Roll down, sit up. Left hand to right ankle, roll down. Your hands are at your chest in the sit-up so that you're not getting any momentum by swinging your arms. It's your core doing all the work here. You gotta give me 10 seconds. Control the curl up and down. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we are about to add on the butterfly crunch. Feet together, knees wide, hands behind the head. It's a little movement that's coming up. We're gonna burn the upper abs again. All right, we got, ooh, we got a longer rest now. 25 seconds, because we're adding more moves. I forgot I did that. Let's start in five seconds, triple point crunch. Three, two, one, let's go. So as we add on more moves, I become more and more generous, and I give you a little more work to rest. All right. We're halfway here, coming up. We're gonna hit that alternating oblique V up, triple pulse. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Find that kickstand arm. Three, two, one. Swing through center, reach the other way. Do you feel a pinch in the obliques? So that's the side of your abs running along the ribs. The abs that are closer to the ceiling, that's where you're gonna feel this as you pulse. All right, you got 10 seconds and then we hit that straight leg sit up with a cross body reach. Three, two, one. Straight legs, feet flex, hands at chest, full sit up, reach to the opposite ankle. So we're trying to hit a little bit of a forward fold here before we curl back down. You'll feel a little bit of a stretch in the backs of your legs. Think about curling one vertebrae up and down at a time. In 10 seconds, you hit your butterfly crunch. Feet together, knees go wide, hands behind head. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Put those heels together, hands behind head. Little crunches. This is a small movement. Your smallest one in this pyramid. You're gonna feel those upper abs contract as you try to lift the shoulder blades. Setting up in the butterfly crunch really restricts any movement in the low body. And you'll find it's even harder to do the crunch here. Three, two, one, rest. Ah, oh, 25 seconds of rest, how generous, because we're about to add on our last move of the pyramid, a banana split. So remember, you're in a ball, you banana, you're in a ball, you split. It's a straight line, arms and legs together, and then a big X. All right, let's put them all together. We got that oblique crunch, feet flat, knees bent. Three, two, one, go. So three point crunch. Now in a pyramid, the first move you do is the first move you get rid of. So this is our last time with this one. We're about to ditch this movement. So make this one count, focus on form here because it's the last time you're doing this in class. Breathe. All right, coming up. Alternating oblique V up, triple pulse. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Legs straight, toes pointed. Pulse three, two, one. Come through center. As you come through center, how close can you get those legs to the floor? So we're actually gonna work the front of our core as we transition between side to side in the oblique movement. In 10 seconds, straight legs sit up. We'll take those straight legs, feet will be flexed. Three, two, one. Straight legs, flex feet, sit it up and reach. Now as you fatigue, these sit ups are gonna become harder to do, but you can slow them down. If you're feeling strain on your neck by having the hands at the chest, Put your hands behind your head, but we're not pulling on the neck here. In 10 seconds, butterfly crunch. We'll put the feet together, knees go wide. Three, two, 
One, switch it up. Feet together, hands behind head. Little crunches, little movement. Feel the tension in the upper abs here. That contraction of the muscle. All right, 15 seconds here. And then we're gonna take the banana split. In the banana split, head, neck, and shoulders can be lifted for a challenge or on the mat to modify. Three, two, one, switch it up. So you curl into a tight ball, banana, tight ball, split. Tight ball, banana, tight ball, split. Play around with angles. You don't have to take everything to a perfect line. Your arms and your legs can go closer to the ceiling. Closer to the floor will be harder. Come on, you gotta give me 10 seconds and then you've earned a rest at the top of the pyramid. Three, two, one, rest. 30 full seconds of rest. So this is a great opportunity to grab some water. We're gonna go down the pyramid. So we're gonna start with the second move, those alternating oblique V-ups. It only gets easier from here. In 10 seconds, we'll start with that move. So find the kickstand in your arm, straight legs rock onto your butt. Three, two, one, let's go. So pulse three, two, one, come through center, go the other way. Three, two, one, come through center. As you take those legs through center, you wanna lean back as much as you can to really put the strain through the front of your body. All right, in 10 seconds, straight leg sit up to that cross body tap. Five, three, two, one. Flat feet or flex feet, straight legs, sit up, reach to opposite ankle. So we hit that full reset all the way down to the mat before you sit back up. Full reps. More than halfway. Coming up, your butterfly crunch. Feet together, hands will go behind the head. In five, three, two, one, switch it up. Feet together, knees wide, hands behind the head. Little butterfly crunches. Your elbows should be in your peripheral vision, not in front of your face. Do your best to keep the knees wide and the elbows wide. More than halfway. All right, we gotta finish this up with that final move, your banana split. In five, three, two, one, switch it up. Find the ball, banana, ball, split. Now your head, neck, and shoulders can be down. So if you're feeling strained through the neck, you're still gonna move the arms and the legs, but you can drop the head, neck, and shoulders down. If you're feeling strong and feeling good, Head, neck, and shoulders up. 10 seconds and then you've earned your rest. You got five, three, two, one, rest. Woo, 25 seconds of rest. We're gonna start with the third move, the straight leg sit up to the cross body tap. Have yourself a quick sip of water. Got less than four minutes in your pyramid. All right, flex foot, straight legs. We go in three, two, one, hit it. All right, that full sit up, reach to opposite ankle. So with this move, we're trying to control the upper body. So rather than flailing your torso forward and back, think about controlling the movement up and down. Curl up, curl down. Butterfly crunches in five, three, two, one. Switch it up. Feet together, knees wide, hands behind the head. You got 30 seconds on the clock for this move. Big burner here, even though it's a small movement. This is where we really feel our abs. Halfway, banana split coming up to finish up this level. You are getting there, team. We got five, three, two, one. Switch it up. Ball, banana, ball, 
Split. Toes pointed. Arms and legs as long as you can. So we're going for length here in our limbs. Strengthen and lengthen in one movement. 10 seconds. Stay with me. Low back makes contact with the mat. Play around with angles. Five, three, two, one. Rest. Woo, all right. We're gonna take it to the second to last level. Butterfly crunches to start. Feet are together. Press the heels inward, knees as wide as you can. We start in 10 seconds. Hands behind the head. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. So crunches, little butterfly crunch. The more you pull your heels into your butt, the harder you will find this to be. Find a level of challenge that works for you today. In 15 seconds, banana split. Woo! Breathe through the hard parts. Feel that contraction. You got five, three, two, one. Banana split. You're in a ball. Banana, ball, split. So hitting that big X with your body. Gravity is resisting, pulling against our legs here. Head, neck, and shoulders can be down if you're feeling that neck strain. Keep moving those arms and legs, lengthen away as much as you can. You got five, three, two, one. Rest. All right, 20 seconds of rest, and then you're taking your last level of the pyramid. Banana splits, one more time. So let's set up, roll down to the mat. Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds of banana splits to finish out your pyramid. All right. How many reps can you fit into 30 seconds here? We've got a fresh set of abs moving into this last move of your pyramid. 10 seconds, leave it here. Move and breathe. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, nice job. Let's uncurl that mat and flip it over. Let's take a seal stretch. We just did a lot of work for the front of the core. So you're coming down, belly to mat, hands under the shoulders, pushing up to a baby cobra. If your back is feeling good, you can push up all the way. And a stretch through the front of the body. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, open up your chest, and look up through the head. Now press back to child's pose, knees wide, arms forward. All right, and grab some water. Okay, your next circuit. We've got a side plank series. We're gonna hit this two times, 30 seconds in each move. You'll get a 30 second rest between rounds. So for our side plank series, I'm actually gonna make sure I have my mat folded up so that when I come down to an elbow plank, I've got a little bit more cushion under my forearm. So we're gonna start in a side plank. Wanna make sure your water bottle is not near your feet. We're gonna take a side plank on the forearm. Your first move is gonna be a hip dip to a toe tap. So it's a hip dip with the bottom hip and a toe tap with the top leg. Hip dip to a toe tap. Your second move, my top leg, I'm gonna plant it down on the floor my bottom leg is gonna to crunch towards my top elbow. So I'm gonna take a side plank crunch, top elbow to bottom knee. Then we're gonna flip over other side and do it on the other forearm. We're gonna hit that side plank, hip dip, toe tap. Your second move, hand behind the head, plant the top foot. I'm gonna crunch the bottom knee towards the elbow. And then our fifth and final move is a T-plank rotation. So we're gonna come through center, find that side plank, come through center, 
find that side plank. Two rounds total, quick transitions between, it's 30 seconds of work, all back to back for the five moves, then we'll take 30 seconds rest and do it again. So folding over your mat, you've got a hip dip, toe tap kick. 30 seconds on deck, we start in three, two, one, let's go. Hip dip to a toe tap. All right, now, if a side plank with your feet stacked feels like too much for you, you can take out all the movement completely. You can just do the hip dip, you can just do the toe tap. You can also modify by dropping the bottom knee to the floor. All right, in seven seconds, you're planting that top leg. We're taking that cross body crunch. Three, two, one. Hand behind the head, top leg down. Crunch bottom knee to top elbow. We wanna make sure we're keeping the hips high. All right. Do what you can here. If it feels like too much with the movement, hold the side plank. In 10 seconds, we're going the other way. Hip dip, toe tap, other forearm. Five, three, two, one. Switch it up. Right through center, find that hip dip, toe tap. Now we're on that other forearm. Working that side plank for a minute on this side. 30 seconds here. A low hip dip, then you press your hips high before you hit your toe tap. All right, coming up, we're gonna take the hand behind the head for that cross body crunch. Three, two, one. Plant that top foot, crunch the bottom knee to the top elbow. You really wanna draw that elbow across to the knee while keeping the hips high. Press them that way through the forearm. All right, we got 10 seconds and then we hit our T rotations. It's a side to side forearm plank. Three, two, one, switch it up. T rotation, side plank one way, come through center, side plank the other way. Woo! Fully opening the chest to the side wall, reach the arm, keep the hips up. We're halfway team. Come on, earn that rest that's coming. You got five, three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds all to you, and we're gonna do it again. And this is how we're finishing out this class, this last set of side planks. So make it count. In 15 seconds, we're hitting the side plank hip dip toe tap. Rest is coming. You gotta give me two and a half minutes solid work and then we're done. We start in five seconds. Three, two, one, lift it up, hip dip, toe tap, hip dip, toe tap. Now that hip dip, how much movement can you put into it? Can you find a lot of range of motion there? Reach for that toe as you kick the leg in front of the body. In 10 seconds, Top hand behind the head, top leg will plant, will crunch the bottom knee. Three, two, one, switch it up. Top foot plants, hand behind the head, and crunch that bottom knee. All right, what can you do here? Can you get the elbow to touch the knee? Opening up fully to the front between reps. In 10 seconds, we're gonna take these two moves on the other side. Yes, you can. Keep the hips high. Five, three, two, one. Come through center, go the other way. Let's find that hip dip to toe tap. So you wanna reach with that top hand in the hip dip. Feel the stretch down the side of your body as that hip hits the mat. You're feeling your glutes engage as you kick out that leg. You really gotta squeeze your legs to find stability when you take the toe tap. Three, two, one. Top leg plants, crunch that bottom knee to top elbow. 
You've got less than a minute of work here. Let's make this count. Our cool down is coming. It's gonna feel so good if we keep moving through the end. You've got two rotations coming up to finish out this series. Come on, team. For five, three, two, one, two rotations, 30 seconds. Plant that arm and reach. Side to side, really open your chest to the side wall, half leg. 15 seconds to go. Bring it through the hard parts. Get the hips up. Stack the hips and side plank. 10 seconds. Come on, stay with me. Five, three, two, one, rest. Take it right into a child's pose. Knees wide, butt to your heels, arms forward, reach. Woo. Walk your arms to the left side of the mat. Feel the stretch to the right side of your body in child's pose. Now walk your arms the other way. Get the stretch to the other side. Walk the arms forward. Let's come up to tabletop. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's take three rounds of cat cow. Inhale as you drop the belly and look up. Exhale, curl the spine and look down. Inhale, look up, drop the belly. Exhale, look down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale down. Finding a flat back. Walk the hands forward, curl the toes, find down dog. Just press your body weight back into your heels. Walk out your dog, press one heel down at a time. And now press both heels down. Take the right leg up to the ceiling. Plant the right foot between your hands. Drop the left knee. Keep the left hand planted and take a spinal twist, rotating, looking up your right arm. Deep twist through the core here. Planting your right hand down. Let's switch out our feet. Right knee down, left foot forward. Plant your right hand next to the left foot, spinal twist, look up your left arm. Bringing out your midsection. Bring that hand back down, framing the left foot. Curl the toes of your right foot. Kick the left leg up. Find down dog. And come back to seated. So sitting on your mat here. Finding a cross leg seated position. Bring one arm across your chest. Take that arm up and over, tricep stretch. Release. Other arm across the chest. Up and over, tricep stretch. Release. Take your left hand outside your right knee, spinal twist to the back. Come through center, switch sides. Feel that stretch to your upper back, through your shoulder blades. And come back to center. We'll finish with two deep breaths together. So open those palms to your side. Big inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, open those palms. Big inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, everybody. Thanks for coming. My name's Caroline. I was subbing for Kristen today. I teach body combat and body pump. If you like my classes, please check out the schedule. Caroline B. Have a great day. Hydrate, stretch, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.